I think one of the things that really sets our company apart from any other company offering aquaponics is our understanding uh, and history uh, of controlled environment agriculture. The modern controlled environment greenhouse is dramatically different than many people's vision of a uh, cold frame that has a single layer of plastic on it that extends the growing season. But a controlled environment greenhouse actually allows you to control the temperature of the air, control the temperature of the water in an aquaponic system. It allows you to control even the quality of the water and the humidity levels in the greenhouse and the amount of ventilation that your crops are getting. It even helps you control the exposure of your crop to insects and pollution and disease. The materials that are available today are high-tech materials so that are intended for growing plants. They will restrict light spectrums that are harmful to plants and they will encourage light spectrums that are beneficial to plants. They will help you control the heating and the cooling of your greenhouse. So the most effective aquaponics system is almost always done in a controlled environment greenhouse. And actually, controlled environment agriculture is the future of agriculture on this planet. You can increase production by a factor of four by putting a controlled environment greenhouse over a crop as compared to traditional soil grown crops. And you can do this anywhere in the world 365 days a year, no matter what season it is. A popular area for growing lettuce in the United States is the southwestern side of Arizona, along the uh, Gila and the uh, Colorado River Basin. They can grow two crops a year, the fall crop, uh, will take 65 days and the winter crop will take 120 days. This results in yields of about 20 to 26,000 heads of lettuce per acre. So you combine those two crops and you might be getting 40 to 50,000 heads a year. Whereas an acre of controlled environment greenhouse can produce 10 times that and it can produce it on a very steady rate an output that goes out of the greenhouse to the marketplace 365 days a year. And in field culture, it will take nearly 26 gallons to produce a head of lettuce. And in aquaponics, within a controlled environment greenhouse, you can produce that same mature head of lettuce on about four gallons of water. When we raise fish and plants in a controlled environment structure, we have to provide the right temperature and pH and habitat for these fish. Remember, in the wild, a fish can move to a depth that is within its comfort zone. The thermoclines allow for different temperatures in a body of water, like a lake. And there's also places where the pH will vary. So the fish is able to move to that area. But in your recirculating aquaculture system, there's essentially one temperature that has to be maintained to the comfort level of the fish. They can't move anywhere else other than your fish tank. So you've got to provide the proper environment for that fish within the fish tank so that it is stress-free. We can achieve that in a controlled environment greenhouse where we're controlling the temperature of the air, we're controlling the temperature of the water, and we do water quality analysis on a daily basis to make sure that the water quality meets the parameters necessary for the fish species you're raising. One of the goals of the mission of our company is food security for all nations. And it's very gratifying to us to know that the science-based systems that Nelson and Pate has developed are already being used on an international basis to meet the needs of food uh, production for many people. You have to remember that not all countries have the wide open agricultural land that we do in the United States. There are countries where the climate is prohibitive to providing, uh, to growing food locally, um, as well as they just don't have the water and the agricultural base that we do here. Controlled environment agriculture is the solution. And combined with a good science-based system within a controlled environment building will provide a vegetable and a protein crop near the marketplace. Transporting the amount of food we're going to need in the future is going to be very difficult, if not impossible. 
So it's not about the ability to grow food, controlled environment agriculture, and a good science-based system will achieve that. It's about eliminating the need to transport food all over this globe. We're excited to be part of that movement. The international business we are doing has demonstrated to us that the science-based systems we produce are working. They're working well to fulfill that goal of food security for all nations.